Hi guys, this is Aarti and Aarti on this side. Today, we are going to explain one of the most important algorithms in computer graphics. Bresenham's line drawing algorithm was an algorithm developed by Bresenham. It is actually faster than DDA line generation algorithm. Here, DDA stands for Digital Differential Algorithm. Bresenham's algorithm performs only basic operations like addition, subtraction and multiplication. And also, it uses only integer arithmetic, hence it is faster. Also, DDA is not as accurate and efficient as Bresenham's. In DDA algorithm, we usually increase the coordinate, x coordinate value by 1 so that when the pixel goes below the line, we increase the y coordinate. So this is how it works. First, the pixel moves in the x direction. Since this pixel goes below the line, so we are increasing the y coordinate. So this would be our next pixel. And further, only x coordinate will be increased and the process continues. Coming to Bresenham's al algorithm, we are drawing a line which connects the starting and ending coordinates xs, ys, and xe, ye. So let's go on to the diagram. We know that slope of a line is given by m is equal to ye minus ys by xe minus xs or m is equal to delta y by delta x. Suppose if the slope is lesser than 1, that is delta y is less than delta x, then the equation of straight line is given as y is equal to mx plus c. In this case, we actually go for unit increment in x. Let x is equal to xk plus 1 be the next coordinate for x, which implies y is equal to m into xk plus 1 plus c. Let us consider it as the first equation. Here, we have taken starting point as xk and yk. Now, uh, let us see about the decision parameter pk, which is equal to delta x into d1 minus d2. Let us consider this as our second equation. d1 is equal to y minus yk, which is equal to m into xk plus 1 plus c minus yk. Similarly, for d2, we calculate y, uh, d2 is equal to yk plus 1 minus y which is equal, equal to yk plus 1 minus m into xk plus 1 minus c. Now, let us find the difference between d1 and d2. So, d1 minus d2 will give this following equation. Now, uh, let us substitute all these values in the equation of pk. Now, let us move on further. Now let's see how we are going on to the algorithm in detail. This was the initial calculations. We have taken the initial point as xk and yk. As you can see from the diagram. So this is our initial point. So now we will be calculating d1 and d2. We would uh, check which is lesser. That is if d1 is lesser than d2 then we will be taking the point b as our next pixel and on the other uh, case if d2 is less than d1 we'll take a as our pixel as you can see in the straight line uh, in the series of grids this line is intersecting uh, at a point and we are taking this point as c that is x uh, let us take it as x comma y so compared to c uh, b is the nearest so we are taking b as our uh, next pixel to be calculated so let's see the equation. Now we have already uh, uh, derived the equation for pk. Uh, now let us substitute x is equal to xk and y is equal to yk. So finally you will get the decision parameter pk is equal to 2 times delta y minus delta x. There are two cases uh, on which the points uh, the increment of pixels will be dis, uh, decided so that is if pk is greater than or equal to 0 then xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus 1 that is x moves one unit every time 
and similarly y k plus 1 is equal to that is the next y coordinate is equal to y k plus 1 that is y moves one unit every time. Suppose if p k is less than 0 then only the x coordinate moves one unit every time whereas the y coordinate stays the same. So now let us move on to the coding part. So we have done it in turbo. So I will be showing you the coding. So yeah. So this is the thing. So what we have done in, in this one is let us go into the first part. So first of all for C what we have to do is we have to include the stdio.h package and as well we are doing a graphics program we have to include the graphics.h. Now if you are going further you can see a draw line that is a function which we are using in order to implement this algorithm. So let me first go to the main method and come back to this one. So in the main method as we all know in the in the beginning when we want graphics we, we do the given line that is int g driver equal to detect g mode error x0 y0 x1 y1. Now x0 and y0 are the initial coordinates and x1 and y1 are the final coordinates and init graph as we know it's an inbuilt function and we have taken this part because it is in the turbo c the bgi if it's not clear like we can't zoom in so that's the thing now again now we are asking for the user for the first point first point is actually the starting point that is the x0 and the y0 and once the user enters that we got uh, go to x1 and y1 once the user enters these two things we go and call the draw line function now moving on the top so in the draw line function as you can see we have initialized dx dy p x and y as earlier mentioned dx is actually x1 minus x0 and whereas dy is y1 minus y0 this is actually a kind of you know the slope thing which we do for dy by dx and x equal to x0 is the initial point and y equal to y0 is the second initial point of the y coordinate uh, as we have already derived the decision parameter here the same thing applies p is equal to 2 times delta y minus delta x. Now uh, going back to the algorithm and now you can see that while uh, while explaining the procedure we had told about the initial condition that is p greater than or equal to 0 that is this part of the algorithm and this while part is for uh, understanding whether we have reached the extreme that is the x1 is the extreme point so that is why we have given while x less than x1 now if p is greater than or equal to 0 is this one this is what we had explained in the algorithm and this part is like to draw the line x and y are the coordinates and 7 is to indicate the color of the line now here it's probably white but in future cases you can make it any other color it can be green or anything depending on the number now uh, uh, further we go on we follow the algorithm and we have done the same thing as according to the values of p now again if you are going and if you are compiling this one let's compile now it's showing zero errors so let's run the program now they are asking us for the first point so let's make it as 100 and the y coordinate is 100 the x1 is 200 and y1 is 200 so we have got this line so from this we can understand that our algorithm works perfectly now if you are too much enthusiastic to make it more efficient we can go for threading pro process now even in as turbo is a very old thing the threading doesn't work much so but still we can show you the code yeah so this one is the threading code the same thing is done but we have included the pthread.h in this code uh, we can optimize the working of our algorithm now uh, now you might be thinking how if you know threading you will know it but if in case you are someone who doesn't know it threading uh, actually it makes us our uh, use of all the uh, processors like we have a co code 4 or a code 2 or i3 i5 that kind of thing so when while doing one set of the calculation we can parallel do the other set of the calculation thus decreasing the runtime but what is the case is like we have chosen a very small value that is from 100 to 200 where you cannot find the significant di difference but if you are taking some points like 10,000 the difference could be seen now further explaining into the code this one we have used the struct it's actually because we are doing threading and we have to divide it equally among 
to, we are using a two thread process that is thread one and thread two so we have to divide it equally so we have used, uh, used the help of struct data type and further the function and the other parameters are the same but while going down you can see that we have used the uh, this thing the thread thing for th doing the thread so this one in p thread is the uh, uh, the what to say the function used in this and c1 and c2 are the two threads so struct data 1 d1 and d2 will give us the points xm is actually the midpoint so if you are doing from 100 to 200 we'll take the mid and then we will calculate that is from 100 to 150 and then 150 to 200 now for C1 thread actual working will be for 100 to 150 we will be using this thread to calculate the line whereas the C2 will be doing from 150 to 200 and further this joining is to stop the like the thread will come to a halt and then actually we couldn't run it and show you for you in turbo due to some issues like you can't have threading in turbo c++ because it's a very old compiler but you can have it in dave c++ which is a recently one not a recently one but a pretty new one but what is the main drawback in uh, dave c++ is you should have graphics.h library which is not possible to have as it's not inbuilt you have to work on it like you have to go to google and you have to search for turbo c++ library uh, in the sense uh, graphics.h library so i have shown you the github page where you have got the graphics.h file uh, when you click on it you can copy the whole thing and you can paste it onto your dev c++ and save it as graphics.h and include it into your c program and then going back Let's see once. Okay, fine. This one. Now, this one also you have to down. Just click on it, and it's a raw file, so it just downloads automatically. This one you have to copy and paste, and you have to add it up. So I could just show you when it gets downloaded. If the net is fast, okay. View raw. If you press on it, it just downloads automatically, as you can see here. And again, go back. then you can copy this and keep but this might only work for a few pcs as some pcs may require certain libraries which are not there in dev c++ so it's better you use something else and you can further improve our the present scenario okay that uh, that's all folks thank you for watching